What could possibly go wrong? Um, Houston, we have a problem. And it crashed. Thank you, Final Cut Pro. Hey guys, how you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know what? We're gonna get a little nostalgic here, and we're gonna do something just like we did on the first tech video log on this show. Convert old tape into a digital format. And what better way to do that than with this ginormous old Sony Handycam? And what would a Crazy Ken episode of this caliber be without conversion technology? That's what we need to use, because we need to get this device with this medium to convert to digital. So how do we do that? I'll show you how, again, with conversion technology. Starting with this, this is a four pin firewire to six pin firewire little dongle. So that is gonna go right here. And we're done, right? No, just kidding. We need to plug this into a 2013 Retina MacBook Pro. So we need a little more conversion technology. So now we're gonna plug in a six pin Firewire cable, which adapts to Firewire 800. But we still can't plug this into our modern machine. So, we use yet another dongle to convert the Firewire 800 to Thunderbolt. Wrong way, there we go. So as you can see, we have a true conversion technology daisy chain going on here. From the Handycam, to four pin, to six pin, to Firewire 800, to Thunderbolt, we will be converting our tapes into digital movie files. What could possibly go wrong? Just for shits and giggles, I looked up this older model to see how much it goes for, and apparently they're still worth about 400 bucks, which is pretty crazy. I don't know if that's new or used. Um, oh, it says used, yeah, so used for about 400. But yeah, I, I looked more into the features, and it, you know, it's got like zebras, like so many cameras, like for the consumer don't have that, but this is like a higher end camera. It's got some nice glass, it's got ND filters built in, so yeah, it's a pretty beefy little device and still worth quite a bit of money. But wait, some of you may say, Ken, don't you already have DV Handycams? What is your problem? Why did you have to go beat up some homeless guy and steal that camera? First of all, I didn't admit to that. That's not where I got that camera. And secondly, the VTRs, on these are actually broke. I'll show you what happens, I'll plug these in later, but I can actually not read a tape cleanly off of those devices, hence why I needed to borrow something. So, we're gonna open up a new Final Cut Pro library just to archive this footage. Again, I'm not gonna archive it all, just anything that kinda piques my interest. I'm just gonna call it DV Tape Archive. Very clever name. All right, so, there we go. And now we're gonna plug in our massive chain of conversion. This will be like a freaking miracle if it actually works. I've never tested this much like dongle action before. That sounded pretty dirty. So over the past couple of years, I kind of just grouped all these tapes into bags and I just went back into the bowels of the closet and retrieved them. If I find any more laying around, I will group them together and see what I can scan. But from what I've seen so far, these are all of the tapes I have. It's not a ton, but it's still gonna take a while to go through. And again, more might pop up. So these are all from my trip to Alaska and Seattle and uh, probably somewhere else in Vancouver. <laughs> these are probably like some small freelance things I used to do. Plus old YouTube videos. We're probably gonna come across some very old computer clan content going through this. It's gonna be maybe a little cringe-worthy, we're gonna find out. But yeah, lots of old YouTube videos, I'd imagine, some like family vacations and some freelance stuff. So it's gonna be a treat. I, I really have no idea what to expect. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna slip it in like a little toaster. It kinda hesitates a little bit. I don't know if that's normal or if it's a little bit damaged, but it kinda doesn't, you know, just slide in. You gotta like <laughs> jam it a little bit. Don't misconstrue that. That was not supposed to be dirty. Please don't. I'm gonna throw it into VCR mode and you actually get these little like glowing orange controls on top for playback. That's pretty nifty. 
Okay, here goes everything. We're just gonna click import and pray. Yeah, nothing's showing up. I have imported DV tape with Final Cut Pro 10 before, but I wouldn't be surprised if they removed that. Is there like a capture feature? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we may not be able to do this. I've done it before. I know it's been a while. Because again, you know, it may not be the software. It may just be the fact that we're using like four points of conversion, which means four failure points. So it could be a disaster. Yeah, it's not even detecting the camera. I mean, it's powered on, you can see. Screen's working. Huh, okay, so let's try. Yeah, I, have a, I just have a feeling this software is not going to work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe have to hit the Google machine a bit here. This is actually pretty crazy. I was wondering if any old music slash song videos were on here, and this is my old buddy drumming away to a, He's probably doing a drum cover, but yeah, that's on here. That's crazy. He was actually in the first video I ever published on the Computer Clan YouTube channel before we even had that name. That was a lucky first find. We have a lot more to go through, but first, we kind of need to get a system together to actually get this stuff imported. And I'm gonna, again, hit up the Google machine, see if Anika Pro 10 can do it still. I swear it was able to do it in the past. Maybe there's another failure going on with the converters. But if all else fails, I have an old iMac with Anika Pro 7 featured in a previous Crazy Ken episode. So we may have to bust that out. All right, change of plans, boyos. Good news and bad news. The good news is, according to Apple's official website, Final Cut Pro 10 still supports tape capture. The bad news is my camera is not showing up. So I'm guessing somewhere along the conversion technology process, something is hiccuping and causing the data to not flow properly. So that means we're gonna have to go to an older system which has Firewire 400 just built into the machine so I can go right from the camera to the computer. So that means we're busting out the old iMac. Let's do it. Ta-da! An old, I think it's a 2006, 2007? I don't know, it's, it's an older 20 inch Intel iMac. And we have a Firewire 400 cord, which I don't think is gonna be long enough. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, that's not, no, that's not gonna make it. That's way too short. So we're just gonna plug the camera directly in without any additional converters. It's just gonna be the camera to the cord, to the computer, no other dongles. However, the weird thing is this dongle was actually warm. This was the last stage of the conversion technology process and it was warm. So some kind of current was flowing through the cord so hardware-wise, I think it's okay, but software-wise, I couldn't seem to get anything to show up. So we're, we're just gonna jump right to the legacy old stuff, which I know works with this because this was the first computer I ever edited on. DV tape was the first medium I ever shot on when I converted to digital. So I know this solution will work. Right? Right when the furnace kicked in, I felt like I had power and I turned on the furnace by pressing a Mac power button. All right, so let's get Final Cut open. I have the tape fast forwarding right now. You can't see it, but it's off screen. And it looks like there's actually nothing else on there besides that one drum video. So that may not be a very exciting tape. But again, I wanna go through all of these just to make sure I have everything, not necessarily cataloged, but I just wanna make sure I have my eyes on everything. Uh, this is not detected, what? Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> All right, we gotta reset our scratch disks. We can do this. Back in the day when you actually had to do that. <laughs> okay. Let's try doing a new project here. All right, we won't give it a name yet because we gotta make sure this even works. Unable to initialize video deck. You may still log offline. Oh, that's, that's a good sign. Um, I'm surprised I memorized these keyboard shortcuts after years of not using this. <laughs> um, yeah, the Firewire is plugged in, but nothing is showing up. Huh, that's uh, no communication. Okay, it's an antisocial editor. I, th I don't know, is something wrong with the camera? It, sh it says DV in. Like, it's clearly indicating that. I mean, whatever. It's detecting it's plugged into something, but what, I don't know. Oh, the audio meters are picking up the microphone. 
Oh, that's cool. I don't remember having that set up. Yeah, this is getting harder by the second. Cause it's not login transfer. Login transfers for like hard disk based cameras. Well, that just butters my biscuits. And now I got the pinwheel of death. All right. And it crashed. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Final Cut Pro. You're very nice. Let's reopen. Okay, I'm gonna test a different camera, but uh, the VTRs are broken. So you're gonna get a bunch of colorful lines, but we'll test to see if we can at least make some kind of connection. Yeah, that worries me right there. Okay. This is a device I have definitely used to import onto this computer before, and it has not been turned on in, gee, I don't know how many years, but we got a ding. So that's a start. More dings, these things dinged a lot. Put the toast in, close her up. This is usually the part of the program where it automatically takes the tape in. There we go, you just gotta, you just gotta beat it up a little bit. Oh yeah, I think the screen on this is broken too. The screen is not turning on. Uh, oh, hello. This detected something. Hang on, command eight, let's see what we got. Dude, this, okay. So something is not set right with that other camera because this other device is showing up just fine. The irony is it says VTR okay, but it really isn't. It'll connect, but it'll probably look all colorful and weird. And the screen on the camera is also broken. All right, I put in a random tape. Let's just see what we've got. Um, Houston, we have a problem. And I have no idea what it is because the screen is broken. Ah, but I can always use the little EVF. And it's beeping and telling me to eject immediately. Uh-oh. Oh, that didn't sound good. Uh-oh, that sounded horrible. <laughs> it, it sounded like the tape was like almost getting chewed to pieces. So that can only mean I'm going to try it again. But yeah, it, it, uh, it didn't like that. Okay, I may wish to change the real setting, but I am not. Okay, let's just rewind this, see if it works. And let's just play a random point. Here we go. And there we go, more drumming videos. How many times am I gonna randomly land on drumming videos? I'm getting really lucky when it comes to drumming. <laughs> Wow, but anyway, as you can see, this is the issue I was talking about. So we have a connection, but yeah, we're definitely having some issues with the video head. I don't know, maybe I just gotta send this thing in to get clean or something, but it is definitely busted. Ooh, that makes it tricky. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Okay, so several cool discoveries. One, this is actually one of the tapes I was looking for. I don't know how I picked it out of the pile so freaking quick. Two, the touch screen, even though it's off, like the touch controls, which are not visible right now, they still work. So I can actually control playback from the camera. And three, this is really like meta right now. What you're actually looking at is what you're looking at. <laughs> like this wall right here is actually like what's behind the computer. This is where the set is. It's right here against this wall. This is the, this is back before the studio existed. This is when this room was like a den. But right behind here is actually what this is. That is, it's videoception. This is crazy. Um, but yeah, this is actually one of the tapes I was looking for. I got really lucky. Um, I'm not able to really capture anything because this is pretty horrible, but I'm at least able to just look at it, which still kind of sucks. So I'm gonna keep experimenting with this camera. I'll try a different camera and uh, I'll get back to that original one and see if I can get that to work because I don't see why it wouldn't. But we have Google. This bad boy was my first camera. This thing has been through heck many times. It is beaten and bruised, but we're gonna boot it up. It still breathes to life. Whatever that really means. Hey, don't go to sleep on me, hey. Not threaded. Okay, that is a technical term that means something. <laughs> I don't know, are we sewing something? Uh, let's insert another random tape. Okay, it's detecting that a new tape has been inserted. That is an excellent start. Let's see if we can communicate. Okay. Oh boy, we're gonna blast off here soon. 
I'm not getting a time code, so this part of the tape must be blank. Still not getting a time code. Okay, this is underwhelming. I'm just gonna take this out. You know what, I wonder if there's actually footage on these tapes, but the VTR is so busted it can't even read a time code. I don't know, there is one way to find this out. It's, we just insert the last tape we were using. Process of elimination. I mean, that's a lot of what problem solving is, and that's a lot of what this freaking show is. Oh boy. Yep, this isn't reading anything. So this VTR must be so far gone that it can't even read the time codes. That's a bummer. I thought this lens was also bad, but I'm looking at it and it actually looks like it's in focus. I don't know if I can live capture that, but let's try. Uh, why won't you let me do things? Come on. You were working five seconds ago. Okay, never mind. Uh, photo booth, maybe. <laughs> this will work eventually. Hey, hey, check it out. Oh, this is just, oh, this is, uh, this is amazing. But yeah, I thought the lens was bad, but that doesn't look too out of focus. That actually looks like it's working pretty well. Huh, maybe it fell and got broke and then got kicked by a donkey and now it's back to normal. Look at that video echo. Isn't that fun? Yeah, that's a treat. Wow, this is a... Uh, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, so, the, like, the camera portion still works, but, like, the VTR is not detecting, like, any kind of, like, uh, time code even. So it, it's really busted. All right, plan... What are we on? G? Let's go to plan G. Yeah, so it works to an extent. We just have those colored bars on here. The one that I really want to get working is that other camera. I got to find out what's up with that. But yeah, this, uh, from the looks of it, is an old snowball fight. That looks like fun. <laughs> yeah, throw the snowballs right at the camera, please. It's just water. It will not hurt. All right, so I got to find out what's going on with the, oh, this bazooka. And I'll get back to you. Well, I didn't figure everything out just yet, but I found out why it was kind of hard to get the tape in in the first place. This strap was just fastened too tight and it was touching, or it was pressing too much against the freaking door. So, not a big issue, but I still can't figure out why this isn't communicating with the computer. So I noticed there's a handy little menu button which makes a very cool beep. It's like I'm playing some old video game or something. Actually, it's kind of cool. I don't know, I could just do this all day. This is fun. But yeah, I'm trying to look for something. I don't know, just... Okay, this video game is too hard. <laughs> uh, let's see, auto lock. There's a lot of features on this camera though. Man, I can see why it still is worth about like 400 bucks. AV to DV out. Is this, for, this is for different ports though, right? Not for the DV port I'm using, right? Shut it down. Sony. Yeah, I know you can't see it, but it's still not finding any device. This is probably for like the other ports that are on here. There are other video outports on this device. I mean, I have capturing cards and software that can take footage with that type of hardware instead of Firewire. Um, I'd really prefer not to do that, but that might be the method we have to use. That's gonna be like a last resort. <laughs> oh, hope it doesn't get to that. Okay, I'm just like whispering to myself, why won't you work? And then I hit check again, and I think it actually did something. I'm gonna, hang on, wait a minute. VTR, oh no, it said VTR okay. For like two seconds. That's further than we've ever gotten, hang on. All I did was jiggle it. I jiggled it, and then it was able to communicate. I seriously just jiggled the cable on the camera. That's all I did. That's further, oh, there it goes. Hang on, I think the freaking port is just a little wonky. Hang on, is there a tape in here? There is. Will it work? Shit, no. Come on. Oh, dude, we're so close. Come on. Come on, baby. No. Oh. I swear that we're a little bit further, though. Oh, man. there's <laughs> Jiggling kind of worked. Jiggling might have fixed the problem, but it stopped again. Crap, so close. I don't know guys, uh, it's not looking too good. I think something is physically wrong with the camera. I think the port is damaged. It'll show up as communicating, as okay, for like a split second. I'll still get bars, and then it just goes to no communication. It shows up for like a split second, that's about it. Ah, oh, come on, man. 
Yeah, I think um, this camera may not be an option. I think the port on here might have some kind of malfunction. All right, hang on, wait, now it's, wait a minute, hang on. I'm not gonna move like anything. I'm just like jamming the cord into the port right now, holding it in place. I am not gonna move a muscle, except for my mouth, which is making the noises right now. Come on, we got the beach ball, come on. You can't hold like this forever, it's really uncomfortable. Hang on, ooh, this might be working. No, shit, ah, oh, it said okay again for like two seconds, no. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this camera, man. Well, I promised you some nostalgia and dang it, I'm gonna deliver before I get back to some more troubleshooting. Now, this says March 12th, but I believe the date was not set right. I think this was in like September? 2009, maybe? Because this definitely wasn't 2008. I think it was like September 2009 or 2010. The tape label says September, but I don't think it has a year. But check this out. This is actually my kitty when we rescued him. Right there, little shadow. In fact, uh, the first video I ever made money with on the internet was of this cat. It wasn't this particular video, but yeah, it was still that kitty. And uh, he's grown up nice and big now, and this is when we found him. He was a rescue cat, for sure. He had two little sisters that died of feline leukemia, unfortunately. But yeah, check out the nice night vision mode. <laughs> yeah, that was actually really handy for this case, so yeah, that was adorable. Well, that made me happy all around, even though this project is completely falling apart. Little kitties make everything better. Hmm. Look at them, they're so cute, oh my gosh, I'm gonna explode. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna die from cuteness. You know, another thing, I wonder where this footage is stored digitally. I mean, I know I clean out hard drives every so often, but I usually don't delete video scratch disks but I, rem I don't remember where it's stored. I checked some old hard drives a while ago, but I could not find stuff like this, so I wonder if they're hidden on another hard disk somewhere. I don't have a ton of them. I don't know, maybe I deleted them. I'm usually pretty reluctant to delete video scratch disks, but dang, I, I must have accidentally deleted them because I don't remember you know, seeing this stuff anywhere in my computer file systems, but yeah, I guess I have one more hard drive I can look through once I get it working. That'll be another tech video log, because it will not power up. But anyway, let's play this with some volume. Oh, you can hear the little meows. Oh, look at the little kitties. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh, heart is melting. I need a doctor. Oh my gosh. Anyway, yeah, okay, I should probably, uh, get back to some kind of troubleshooting, because again, I can play this stuff back just fine, but it will not communicate with the computer. Anyway, I hate to say this, but I'm calling this a loss for right now. I mean, I don't know what else to do, but I will say this. I am in the process of contacting multiple people that likely have old cameras, and I'm gonna see if I can borrow any of them to try to capture these tapes. In the meantime, I can at least use this to play back the tapes to see what I have, so I can at least maybe organize or catalog some things, but I won't be able to do any capturing unless I want colorful lines all over my footage. So capturing right now, out the window, but I can at least play back. So I'll wait for those people to reply. I'm going to try this again in the future. I just need to get a different camera because something is wrong with all three of these, of course. That's my luck. So not giving up. Stick around, because I will make this work. In the meantime, catch the crazy and pass it on.